The reactions which take place in different zones in blast furnace during extraction of iron. Now these are really uh, beautiful ones. Just look at this. This is your blast furnace. These are tweers. They are written as tires or something like that, but they are pronounced as tweers. Just when you throw coke plus hematite, that is Fe2O3, and limestone. <coughs> and when this coke needs hot air, this is hot air. You have zone of combustion or zone of heat generation. This is where C reacts with oxygen to give you carbon monoxide. It's very, very hot, roughly around uh, 1500 to 1800 degrees Celsius. This is the whole, uh, you know, the zone of heat generation. Obviously, this is going to be the hottest. And this is the zone. As carbon monoxide is formed, and you know, this is a truly hot zone, no doubt. Now, just above this, you have zone of fusion. And what is this zone of fusion? In this zone of fusion, you find calcium oxide reacts with impurity silica to form calcium silicate. Now calcium silicate has a melting point of barely 1200 degrees Celsius so it melts very easily. So this is a zone uh, roughly 1000 to 1200 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature range of zone of fusion. It removes gang or silica as you know more fusible calcium silicate. And then above this you have another zone and that would be the zone of heat absorption. And then we have a zone of decomposition or zone of decomposition. Yes, zone of heat absorption. Which is the zone? This is a zone which involves an endothermic reaction and that is calcium carbonate decomposes to CaO plus CO2. 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. This is the range in which this decomposition occurs and limestone or calcium carbonate decomposes to give you lime, uh, calcium oxide or quick lime. This quick lime when it descends, it reacts with silica, it fuses with silica to form the fusible slag calcium silicate. But the most important zone, the crucial zone for which all this drama is done is the uppermost zone of reduction. <coughs> what happens in this zone? As the name says, reduction happens in this zone. And what, what exactly gets reduced? Iron, hematite gets reduced. There are three reactions. Fe3O4 with CO. Please remember carbon monoxide is the principal reducing agent in blast furnace and metallurgy of iron. It reduces Fe3O4, sorry, Fe2O3. I'm sorry. I'll just change this. We started with Fe2O3. So this gets reduced to Fe3O4 and CO2. First you get ferrosophoric oxide like this. Balance this out. Yeah. Then the spongy iron or Fe3O4 is further reduced to give you FeO. And this FeO as the material is falling down, in, in, the, in parallel it is being converted and this further gets reduced to iron. Ferric oxide to ferrosophoric oxide, ferrosophoric oxide to ferrous oxide and ferrous oxide to metallic iron. As the material is falling down it is reduced and ultimately all the molten iron gets settled to the bottom. On the top of this molten iron is the layer or the slag. <coughs> which is nothing but calcium silicate. Ca. This molten slag prevents the reoxidation of iron and 
it kind of protects iron as well apart from removal of impurities. These my dears are the various reactions which occurs which occur in different zones of blast furnace. For those of you who want a written and formal answer, well this is your answer my dear. You can take screenshots and feel happier. This, these are the reactions which occur, the NCRT answer classic.